that is my view from my hotel right now. I am in Los Angeles, California. I spent three days out here. Not really LA, I was down in San Diego for a little bit, but I flew into LA and I fly back to Nebraska today. Right now it's about 9.49 a.m. I've got a flight here in a few hours. I'm gonna head back home. Reason why I'm showing you this, um, because I wanna let you guys know I'm not just sitting in Nebraska, you know, hitting up fire ponds and lakes, even though I, I enjoy doing that and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I am traveling around, I'm trying to do bigger things, bigger projects, and I was on a big project this weekend, um, a big fishing project, and it did not work out. It just didn't work out. The fishing just did not cooperate. We just did not catch, uh, you know, the size of the fish and, and the quantity of fish that we needed for the, the project to be completed. Anyways, I'm, I'm kind of keeping. I keep saying project because it's kind of it's kind of a secret. I want to keep it secret for now, but we're gonna we're gonna keep trying it, and uh, you might go to Texas next time and try to film it. But I wanted to thank everybody who participated in my Flares USA Bass Brawl that was going on this week. Actually, by the time you're watching this, you may have a couple more hours to fish. Maybe if you're watching this right when it comes out, and uh, you want to go catch some fish tonight and enter the tournament, you can. It is the iCatch app. Just search iCatch on the App Store and uh, you can download it. There's all the information to the tournament will be down below. I'm going to take the week off, though. There are no tournaments this week. The following next week, we're going to do another nationwide tournament. The reason why, I said I wasn't going to do another nationwide tournament. The reason why, because the majority of you guys submitted your fishing correctly. You did not watch the YouTube video on how to do it, and you submitted them incorrectly. So what you got to do, if you want to participate, you must watch the YouTube video on how to submit the fish. I will link it down below. It's not that difficult to submit fish, but it's a little bit tricky. So, link will be down below to go watch and uh, for you guys to submit fish. Anyways, I'm going to take off here. Today's video is not going to be a vlog, although I did vlog on my way here and all, all weekend, and I thought it was a pretty decent vlog as far as a travel vlog, getting on the airplane, cold time lapses, all that fun stuff. You're not going to see it. You're just, you're just not going to see it. It just didn't happen. But what you are going to see is me and my buddy Ethan hitting up a lake in a really small John boat. It's kind of a classic, classic lake that we enjoy going to, and uh, you're gonna watch us beat up on some bass. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, you go ahead and get in. There you go. We are out on a lake, obviously, with Ethan. Haven't filmed a video with him in about a year. I think it was about a year ago today. Yep. We were here at this lake in this boat. This is a, it's kind of like a tradition. I don't know why we only do it once a year, but it seems like we only make it happen once a year. The last two years in a row, we've been out here catching fish, and this is the old uh, famous fluke spot that the, it's a lot of you guys have probably seen that video. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. There's a video of him and I fishing in this boat, and we caught a bunch of big fish. It's like the first time I've ever caught in like a couple fours and five pounders and stuff like that. So I was kind of freaking out, but it is uh, 6.37, so we've got, about two hours or so of sunlight left. We're gonna see if we can make some magic happen. There's a lot of docks, so we're probably gonna be flipping a lot. Obviously gonna be throwing the traditional flukes. Then as the sun starts to go down, we're gonna throw some, some top water action. I'm excited, you excited? Yeah, we're gonna catch them. You think so? I hope so. I think, I think we will. Neither one of us have fished this lake. Have you fished it yet this year? No. Okay, neither, neither one of us have fished it this year, so we're gonna, we got like a two hour challenge of fishing a new lake. This should be interesting. All right, I'm starting off with the jig. Little black and blue jig. Water's just a touch stained, so Ethan's gonna start with a shaky head. For those of you guys don't know, him and I used to be tournament partners in high school. In every freaking tournament, the kid would whip out a shaky head and kick my ass with it. So we're gonna see see if we can catch some fish. There you go. Ooh, first one. Is it good? That looks like a good one. Oh, that's a freaking good one, dude. Hell yeah. Shaky head fish. Is that the one that bit the first time? Y'all on a bed? They're bedding, huh? First fish of the day. That's a good one. Hell yeah. That's a fatty. There you go. All right. Well, you think it's on a bed? So you ate your worm twice. Before it actually got it, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, it's a good sign. Hits another one. 
<laughs> what did I say about this kid kicking my butt on a freaking shaky head? Second fish. About two minutes after that other one. I'm throwing a fluke, which is the traditional, the traditional uh, lure for this lake. And E is just killing it. God dang, dude. Those are good fish. There you go. That is number two. I don't know what to say. He's doing what he did in high school. <laughs> Dang shaky head. I wonder if I need to cut this thing off and tie on shaky head. Oh, that was a bite. Yeah, what the hell? He didn't eat it. There's one. There's one. Oh! Little guy. Little guy. I, uh, I gave in and tied on the old shaky head since Ethan was whooping my butt with it. Not nearly as big as the ones he caught, but I'll take it. We're currently kind of stuck. The trolling motor we have is not very strong. See you later, buddy. The trolling motor we have is not very strong and we're the wind is blowing us this way. We want to get over there to the dam and we can't because the wind's blowing too hard. And we're stuck, like it's just blowing us into this, whatever this giant yellow thing is. So, Ethan's popped a squat, just chilling, and we're just basically paralleling this dam. And hopefully they're gonna catch catch some fish, but we're right now we're we're stuck. We can't really move. It's not there's no consistency at all right now. There's one. We we'll bounce it off that rock. That's a decent one, yeah. Crankbait fish. Oh, that's a good one. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. God dang. He ain't giving up yet. Come on, come on, little girl. Don't come off. Stay down. There we go. Oh. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. The waves I'm talking about. Wow, there we go. That's the size we're looking for right there. I'll take that. That little gal came on a little little crank, but we finally got moving. The wind died down just a touch enough for. Ethan and I to kind of make our way down this this rocky bank. That old chunky girl decided to do it. All right, Joel, see you later, buddy. Nice. That was just on a little bluegill colored crankbait. Wind's blowing a trillion miles an hour, and we're just kind of making casts on this rock bank and found one. It got caught on a rock and it popped it off and it ate it. I think that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh god, that's a good one too. Oh, he popped off right there. I, I I didn't hook you. We're good. He popped off right there. Yeah, there goes that one. That was about the same size as that last one. These dang fish like to jump at this lake a lot more than average, and they're not easy to keep keep pinned with these treble hooks. But that's good. That's another one that pop, same thing popped off a rock, and uh, he ate it. You have one? Oh, it's a big one. It come off, didn't it? It did, didn't it? I saw that crank pop out. You got one? Oh, shoot, that's a good one. Oh my God, that's a big fish. That's a big end. What are you throwing? Crankbait? Oh God, that's a big fish. This makes me so nervous. I'm not even the one catching it. Oh! <laughs> Dang, son, you got balls. <laughs> Just swing them up in here. That's a freaking chunker. Right next to the boat, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a freaking good one. Craig bait, he's throwing the same same color. He's throwing more of a square bill one, but fishing your quality, dude. Is that another fish? Dude, get out of here. What? <laughs> what is this? He's kicking my ass out the back of the boat. On that crankbait. Uh -huh. What? Why did I just put that crankbait down? I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh god, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, there's one hook in One, there. one hook, one hook wonder. Oh! <laughs> He's getting so lucky right now. It's ridiculous. There she is, another one. I don't know, I don't even know what to do. Just back-to-back -back casts on the freaking crankbait out of nowhere, just... Out of freaking nowhere, just start smoking them. We, we went quite a long time without catching a fish. Uh. Well, folks, that is the end of... The fishing that I did that day, it's not the end of the video though. I'm gonna do something kind, kind of funny, kind of a little bit of a throwback. So I talked about in the video how it was kind of a classic spot 
that Ethan and I went to, that the lake, the John boat. It's got we've got some history in that boat and on that lake. There's a pretty funny video I think the majority of you guys are gonna enjoy. This was filmed back when I was probably 16, maybe. I think I, I had to have been 16 because I think I drove. So I was 16 years old. It was uh, the summer, I think, probably after like my freshman or sophomore year of high school. And uh, so I think school just got out and the fish were starting to spawn. I, mean, I didn't really know a whole lot about that. I didn't really know what the whole spawn thing was about. And this was kind of, we, we stumbled upon it on accident. And young Ethan and I caught some big fish and thought they were bigger than what the scale said. And that still happens today. I still, that, that part of me still is, is alive in me where I doubt the scale. But uh, either way, whether, whether the scale was correct or whether I was correct, they were some pretty solid Nebraska brutes. So I'm going to play that video now. That's what you guys are going to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy. That was cool though. Was mm -hmm. His, he was beat up. Oh, yeah. His tail was like in half. Yeah. There's one. Oh, crap. Oh gosh, you got to get the net on this one, dude. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot, guys! Oh, oh crap! Oh my gosh, he's freaking giant! He's freaking giant! Oh my gosh, my rod's about to freaking break! Are you even dragging him? You have your drag set? It's good. Get him up! Get him up! Easy. Get ready! Get ready! Oh my god, I see him! Yeah. No, get him! Yes, yes, dude, that's a freaking five oh, yeah. Easily. on camera. Easily. That's a five, man. That's what I'm talking about. This rod is about to break. Oh, that, that's a big one. That's a freaking. <laughs> oh, that's bigger than five. This is the biggest bass I've caught. <laughs> there's your. There's there is the biggest bass I've caught here. Hold this, dude. Yes. Bring that ass here, boy. Biggest bass I've caught in like four years. This. That's got to be close to six. Do you see how big he is? Hey, yeah, look at that fluke. Oh. Four, six, five. That's a that's bigger than it's the one way I caught. Than yeah. Four, six, five. Look at the eyes. Look, just the bulging. eyes are as big as mine. <laughs> this thing has got to be close to six. That scale that's a is big just fish. off, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna get the release. I'm, I know that's close to six. Biggest bass I've ever caught, ever. That's personal best. Our personal best. That's, look at that mouth. That thing's got to be six. On the fluke. Biggest bass right here. Record on a fluke. It's on. Yep. We're good to go. Ethan That's... missed a five pounder and we're going for it. We got to get up top here. Turn around. All right, it's all yours. I'm going to let you take it. I'm going to let you smoke the crap out of this one. It hit like four or five times and set the hook. Yep, GoPro died. I got you though. There we go. Set it harder. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. I got the net. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Swing it hard this way. Keep it down. Keep it down. That's bigger than five. I got it, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. That thing came back Dude, that's just, twice. That's just six I told you. I told you. Oh my gosh. We so called that too. Dude, oh my gosh. My that is real. a six. That is a monster fish. Oh my six. gosh. That's got to be five. Easily. Holy crap. And the Zoom Super Fluke. Zoom Super Fluke swag right here, boys. God. That's what it'll get you. Look at that. Put the mouth towards me. Zoom super flukes. Four. Four. Just at four? No. Uh oh. Four thirty-six. So about four and a half ish. Four forty-three. That's what that just said. I thought it was bigger than that. But He's got to be bigger than that. I don't know. We don't know what our scales are doing. My scales even less. All right. Let's get measuring tape. 20, it, it's two. 22, a 20, see, there's no way your scale's right, a 22 inch bass is easily a 5 pounder, that's a 5. Alright, we're gonna get the release guys, we got it, it's 22 inches, just like we saw, there's no way that thing's 4 pounds, <laughs> you guys can see that for yourself, I'm guessing 5 and a half, it's right, about right, I'm gonna let her go, there she goes, see, bright sunny day, we're flipping sea walls, 
skipping docks over there. Uh, weightless 4 rod EWG hook with a wide eye zoom fluke. Ethan just caught another one on the fluke right after that good five and a half pounder. I decided to turn on my camera since we're kicking some butt. We're skipping some flukes over here. I'll try to leave my camera on for a little while, see if we can get one. There you go. Oh my gosh. Ethan's gotten three in the exact same spot. That's where he caught that five pounder. He just caught another one. Look at that, guys. He's kicking some freaking butt. This kid is the absolute fluke master. Gene Jensen, you better watch out. This kid is taking over. All right. Throw a little froggy. Froggy. Good. 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 Got him. <laughs> there you go, that's on camera for you guys. Bass blow up. Frog, dude. Oh, look at him taking a piss this, all over. This is our best day. This is our best day ever. Look, I, re I yanked that right away. He choked it. The hook is down. <laughs> that is great. There you go, guys. Nice one. Here, let's zoom over to that wall. There's one. Big yep, get the net, get the net. Yes. There we go, that's a good three. three get it, because I can't flip him because I have my spinning oh, rod. Yeah, I can't yeah. flip him. Jeez. It's still nice fish. Oh yeah, that's big. Oh, oh shoot. There we go. That's, that's nice. a good two and a half or three. Dude, you hooked him good too. Was that on the dock? Yep, right off the dock. Oh, that's pride too. Yeah. It's, it's not as big as I thought it was. He was just running like. Hey, it's a fish. He was running like you wouldn't believe, guys. Well, folks, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys got a good laugh out of that. I mean, it's it's kind of fun to look back. That's one one of the major major perks of doing this whole YouTube thing is, you know, I've been documenting a lot of my fishing adventures for the last five years, and it's kind of fun to go look back on those. And uh, just kind of laugh at yourself, kind of think, you're, yeah, you're kind of an idiot. But, you know, everybody's got to do it every once in a while. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, like I said, watching that video, watching the current video, the one that's, like, in, you know, in this decade. And uh, and hopefully, my next project will go better better than uh, than this one. This Los Angeles, California, you're gorgeous, but uh, your fishing sucks. So we're gonna we're gonna make it we're gonna plan something else with with the the team that I'm working with on this project and hopefully do uh, do something maybe in Texas maybe even with the whole Guggen squad. But flying back to Nebraska, I'm gonna go turkey hunting tomorrow morning. Uh, never been turkey hunting, so you guys will probably get a good laugh out of that. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs>